The one thing we need to speed up the production of the Deathbot army in, and this episode we will be sending them out, trust me on that. I know I've said it every episode for the, I think the past three or four episodes, but this time, you know, we're almost there. We just need a few more, I think. We've got more than enough uh, gear for them now in terms of helmets, a couple more weapons. What have we got? We've got uh, five charge rifles, three charge lance. I mean, they're almost ready to go, and we've also got a minigun lying around as well. So what I'm going to do then, and what are you suggesting this in the comments? is activate some of the robots so that they can be set to only fill up the AI machines. Then we've got robots building robots. The only reason I haven't done it so far is because the more colonists you have in a colony, obviously the harder raids are, um, the harder incidents will be as well because the game will take that into account. And we have increased the difficulty. We're, we're, we're at the highest difficulty now. Um, besides Merciless, but that's just ridiculous. That might as well just be, hey, you're bored of your game. You might as well have a game over, right? So let's enable four of them because that's one for each machine. Let's activate, um, I guess just two, um, that's, wait, oh, okay, so we'll go two, two male, um, and two female robots, that way we've got a nice balance, um, I don't know if they can interact or anything, I mean, they do have social stats, so maybe, anyway, um, we'll get these ones enabled and we'll set these ones only to haul. And then what we can do with that is just have those guys constantly be topping up these machines. Keep these machines constantly enabled to churn out robots. And that will hopefully, um, you know, the Deathbot army be self-sufficient at that point. Then all we need is a whole bunch of strip mines. Have Deathbots mining. Deathbots crewing the machines. Uh, Deathbots we could put into batteries to power other Deathbots. It's a great idea. Um, what's happening here? Oh, they're actually filling up the Mecha Spider. Look at this. It's actually going to happen. Hopefully we can get him back this episode too. Huh? That would be some great progress. One thing I did between episodes is I've reinstalled the genetic extraction tables into this room here. Just because, um, well, mainly because, you know, it, it requires human corpses for a lot of the extraction. Um, in fact, it should be at the top here. Extract genes from humanoid. That should always be at the top. Uh, mainly because I don't particularly want them carrying around dead people halfway across the colony to extract the genes from them when they could just do it in the same room and drop them on the floor, right? Uh, so so it, they're going all the way over there and bringing it all the way back. What I would like to do, ideally, is um, basically find a, make a dedicated like organ freezer or something and then split this room off and use this room for the genetic engineering so that way they're right next to the freezer with all the genetic engineering stuff and that will make, make way more sense in my opinion. So uh, eventually we'll have to find a better, you know, storage for organs or at least find something to do with these goddamn organs. Because we've got way too many. Look, we've got so many organs that they're spewing into the hospital through the walls. We've broken space-time and we have, like, transcendent organs here. I don't know what's going on. Anyway, Don, it's my good friend. Activate some mobile AI. I wish they would finish one job before they moved on to the other. It's actually driving me insane. What is wrong with you people? We've got one left on that one. One left on that one. Oh, because they've got two left on the floor. Oh, you're such fucking idiots. Oh, well. Um, let's get Donna to come and activate all of the robots here. So activate, activate, and activate. Those are all queued up. And whenever he's awake, so in however many hours that'll be. Oh, in about 20 minutes because he's mostly a robot at this stage. He'll come up, wake the robots up. And again, those are going to be set to only hauling. So hopefully they'll go and make us some more robots. We've got my two I'm going to need, in the comments from you guys, uh, four names for the robots, and I'll pick four at random. Uh, and then obviously we'll need some for the entire Deathbot army as well. Uh, but wait until I've actually activated those before you leave any comments. I think just four for now is probably good. Alright, uh, my two, your job is literally just to haul forever. There we go. And you know what, you can do literally anything else with that, so I don't, I don't care too much. Uh, Donitz, you actually betrayed me here. I, I did say prioritise queuing these things up, but he, he completely ignored me. Alright, that's that one done. Oh, right, because when he's finished one, um, he will just piss off and, and not bother activating the others. There we go. Alright, so go back to this one. Boom. My active, my active, my active. Excellent. Alright, so, uh, let's go to our many my robots here and go ahead and put them on... Wait, was that delivery or hauling? Hang on. Hauling. Yeah, hauling maximum priority. Alright, so those boys, look at them. It's actually working. So the robots are filling up more robots. This is ridiculous. What have I done? Holy shit. They actually move pretty fast as well. This is working out really, really well. The hauling bot is bringing it from the stock pile to the shelves. We've got robots topping up other robots. This is so cool. All right. Um, how many of these are working? So we've got two, three, four working, five working. We just went on a little bit more silver for this one. And there we go. That's six more death bots done. We might want to, uh, I guess, replace the B area. Swap the B area with the, with the um, sort of AI factory. 
and have many, many more of them so that we can constantly... I mean, it's sort of exponential to a point. You could activate the ones who's turn out and have them in turn activate and build more machines. I don't really want too many robots, though. Like I said, we, do, we, we want like an army of mecha spiders, not particularly robots too much. This is where the fun begins. Look at this. Rare throne bows have wandered into the area. Why don't we send a death bot to go hunt down... This is a good test, right? We need thrombo DNA anyway. Um, are they a breeding pet? Because we could actually try and tame them, I guess. No, it's two females. We'll send in the death bots to test them out. Um, let's get them. So how many have we got? So we just want these four. So let's get you boys. Draft up. Come over here. Get some armor on. Grab some weapons. Do we have any... We don't have any marine armor. Oh, because all my colonists have been putting it on the goddamn idiots. We're going to have to make so much more marine armor. We've got plenty of helmets, but unfortunately, that's just it. Right. Welcome, team. Our box self tamed. You are in the wrong colony, my friend. All right. Um, My four. You go ahead and wear that one. I'm looking for any infused ones. We've got, like, this one here. Um, Any infused ones or good quality ones. We've got an excellent one there. And we have an excellent one there. All right, that'll do. Sweet. Um, Oops, no. Actually, sw swap out for that one. There we go. And you can have this excellent one. Look at that. Okay, great. Good start. Um, we'll give them some flak vests as well. Just anything that we've got lying around at basically this stage. Don't try and arrest anyone. Thank you. All right. And that is that done. Holy shit. They look so cool, cool right now. Okay. And I think, what do we, just rifles maybe? Just regular wild charge rifles. Have we got any that are enchanted? Doesn't look like it. We've got kind of unlucky with the charge rifles. That one's a masterwork though. Pretty impressive. All right. That's one, two, three. And we've got another excellent one. Um... Apparently not. All right, just just take this one. It doesn't matter too much. All right, death bots, squad up. Let's go and test them out. This is a, this is a field test, and we're getting something out of it. That being some thrombo DNA. All right, and if they fail, we're just sending donuts. Relationship. Um. Oh, Mason and Donuts' uncle has turned up to the colony. Fred. Hello, Fred. Oh my God, we've got so many visitors turning up now. Look at this. We're like a proper little city. We've got people stopping in the colony. Four of them. Um, we've got a big trade caravan here. And then we've got some other visitors turning up as well. Fred Kreisky. Hello, Fred. Um, what do you what do you think of Mason and Donitz? Uh, social. There we go. Uh, plus 10. That's it. Because they're just their nephew. Okay, fine. Understandable. Have a great day. Not that it matters too much. Right, here we go. Deathbots, time to test you out. Uh, you guys might not want to hang around for too long. Thank you. What the fuck is that thing they bought here? What are you doing with my colony? Get out of here with this. This is nonsense. I should probably move the training spot as well, right? We could, we could put it, like, here, I guess. Um, put, put it just there. That's fine. All right, welcome. Okay, Deathbots. They look pretty good, right? I, I like this one that's slightly pink colored. I don't know why, but that looks kind of cool. All right, team. Um, give it a go. Oh, God. Uh, you, can, you can run and gun. Also fine. Oh, they apparently can't run and gun. What the fuck are you doing, though? Can we talk about this? Can we talk about these terrible... Why are you pink? Female AI porn... Male, male, female. I, I thought maybe because it was female it was pink, but apparently not. It just happens to be pink. All right, that's fine. Whatever. That That's that's completely fine by me. All right. Thrombo's almost dead already. Nice. Good work, team. Where's the other one? Uh, oh, God. We're drafted hunting them. <sighs> Shit. Diplodocus revenge. Um. Yeah, no. Turn drafted hunt off now. We're good. I'll, ju I'll just manually assign targets. Okay, you might want to run. This is bad. <laughs> this is bad. Okay, so that, so we know that the robots can't run and gun. That's good to run. Can anybody else run and gun? Is the mod sort of... Yeah, no, no, no. It's just the robots that can't run and gun. Normally they can, but but for some reason these boys are incapable of it. Fair enough. Maybe maybe their targeting just isn't up to scratch, you know? Um, Definitely seems to be the case. Okay, Deathbot's not really doing as well as I was hoping here. Uh, we might have to send in Donuts to come save the robots. Yeah, no, this is, this is not good, is it? This is actually really disappointing. The one at the front is taking the bulk of the damage, though, which is fine. Um, Donuts, do me a favor and come and help him out here. Oh, Jesus. Of course, we got to... I don't like relying on Donuts for everything, but honestly, in this scenario, what, what, one death bot's already dead, ironically. Um, that's fine. Ignore that one. Just just off you go. Get there as soon as possible. It doesn't really matter. Oh, God. Oh, we've got we've got friends here to help us out. Okay, four robots are fine. Let's, let's allow all. Uh, you guys can undraft. There we go. Donuts, come, come save... Uh, yeah, I want to. I want to click Donuts though. Excuse me. I'd like. I'd like. I'd like to click Donuts now. Thank you. All right, Donuts, come over here and rescue my. All right, there we go. Fucking dinosaurs. That's that's my own fault for leaving Drafted Hunt. And I'll, I'll be honest with you. Well, hey, we've got some Thrombo DNA. So you know what that means. I think it's time for. Um, oops. Sorry, I meant to. <clears throat> I meant to pick up. You know what? Honestly, who the fuck needs a Death Bolt? We've got so many more Death Bolts where that come from. Prioritize hauling Thrombo. Make sure we don't butcher this. That might be one of the things that's cost us a lot of... Yeah, look, look, he's dragging it over there. So what we want to do 
is... Um, can I just pick it up and manually draft him and move him over to where I want it? Okay, hang on. Stop. Put it, put it down. Uh, no, no, no. That, that's forbidden. You're not allowed, you're not allowed to touch that. Alright, hang on. Uh, undraft you. So let's go to our workbench and see. What have we got here? Times two. We've already got some. We must have just got that random with the recombining. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Um, extract genes from megafauna animal. Ah, uh, requires one mega, mega sloth specifically? Oh, that's not good. That's a little bit annoying. Okay, fine. Um, what are we looking for then? We are looking for the, th wow, thrombo. There we go. Requires one thrombo corpse. And then if we go ahead and prioritize doing that, he should go somewhere else. Try to genetic material. What the? F Wait, what? That is that is not a thrombo, sir. Oh, right. It's, it counts as a humanoid, though. Did you just butcher my fucking thrombo? What? Where is it? Yeah, but where is it, though? Apparently the robot. Okay, that's partially my own fault, I will admit. I didn't realise the robot counted as a human, so it, 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 it did that job before it did the thrombo job. Kind of my own fault, but also, you know, not, not best, but you know what, look, we've got some thrombo DNA, so that's all that matters. Right, okay then, team. Uh, we need to go to, what the hell am I going to crossbreed then? Um, I'd like to do that one, but obviously we, you know, we haven't got the megafauna DNA yet. Eldritch thrombo. We've got enough for two incubators, so I'm thinking Eldritch Thrombo. I'm thinking what we can make a Dino Thrombo as well. That sounds pretty fun. What are our other options besides... Oh, it's got to be a Mechanoid Thrombo, hasn't it? Of course we've got to do that. Right, Donuts, prioritize combining. Uh, so we're going to make an Eldritch Thrombo right now. My god, he moves fast. We're on speed two as well. Okay. I'm really, really interested to see what these things got, because I think Thrombos are the one thing we haven't done any crossbreeding at all with yet. All right, there we go. What a mess that thing's going to be. And then Donuts, if you could go ahead and do... Wait, what? What do you mean? What am I missing? Mechanoid and Thrombo. Um, I assume it's just one Thrombo. Yeah, it's one Thrombo, one Mechanoid. We have Mechanoid DNA? You know what? No, no, no. We, we've definitely got that. Mechanoid active components. Thrombo genetic material. We've got one of each. Hang on. Uh, thrombo Mechanoid? Requires one Thrombo, one Mechanoid active components. We've got everything. Why can't you do that? Need material. Empty incubator. Um, am I going crazy right now? Mechanoid active components. Thrombo genetic material. Mechanoid active components. Thrombo genetic material. Empty incubator. And then... Yeah, but why though? One times... Uh, excuse me? No, no, that's, that's wrong. That's completely wrong. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Let's not worry about it. You know what? As long as I can see this thing done, that is fine by me. And now it's working. Okay, w right. Okay, this is going to be the best one, I think. This is going to be the best one we've crossbred ever. Um, Mechanoid Thrombo. And then we've also got ourselves the Eldritch Thrombo. This is going to be a mess. But these might be the bulk of our army. Fuck the Mega Spider, honestly. Oh, well, don't, obviously, because that, that would be kind of disgusting. It's, it's kind of large and has many legs. That's not the point. The point is, these are going to be our main army bulk. These are the things that we're going to be cloning in our cloning vats and unleashing them on the world. Um, hopefully, we can upgrade them as well. I imagine the... the Because it's a Thrombo? And because Thrombos are obviously a base game animal, and because the animal prosthetics mods affects generally the base game animals, there are some patches I've got as well. But it seems to be most of the base game animals are the ones affected by it, right? So, hopefully, we can upgrade it with Barnix too. Now, it's a shame that we can't... You know, it's a shame we can't clone it with Barnix, but that's some crazy Lamarcas and shit that I won't get into. Um, we should be good then. So, as long as we've got plenty of Barnix in storage, we need to find something to do with these organs. This is absurd. Um, can we fill the protein masher with um, nutrient solution from organics? Can we fill that with, like, human organs? Um, plant matter, corpses... Honestly, these are fine. Um, any food is, is more than fine by me. No animal corpses, though. Uh, yeah, foods are fine. Animal corpses are not. Yeah, foods, foods are... <clears throat> I feel like there's some... Foods are fine. Allow fresh. No corpses. Why? Oh, because I imagine... That, okay, so crab is also a crab corpse, but it's also food. I understand why that's, why that's uh, not working as I would intend it to. All right, that's good then. We're fine. So, that's, hopefully, what does that count as refining? Who's, who's not refining? Oh, you know what? That's what we should set the mice to do. Can they even refine? Where is it? Refine. Yes, absolutely, they can. That's awesome. Right, so if you can't, uh, we should probably set that to priority two then. 
refine, and then if they can't, oh well, if they can't deliver, they'll refine. That's that's great. Now, it's a shame we did lose a Mai there. In fact, they're all going to be out of commission for fucking ages, because uh, unfortunately there seems to be no way to make the robots sleep in the robot beds, which will stop them, obviously, from, uh, oh, maybe it's because they're all gas beds? I don't know. My, 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 Tay. Okay. Um, what if we wake you up now and send you to bed? Will that work? Or are you just immediately going to a hospital bed, eh? Because you're, you're being a big prick. Um, draft and undraft. No. You, uh, you clearly had a move route there, and then you've got back into bed. Hang on. Right, so send them over manually. That one, do you see that? That one, that one went from pink to, again, you're pink again. I don't know why. No, stop it. Get some help. Right, mark it as medical bed and manually rest them. Even if I manually designate it, they completely ignore me. Is it because this bed is just, as, it probably has a faster healing rate, right? So they're prioritizing this one. My God, some of these mods. Oh, good Lord. All right, well, fine. Forget about it. Here we go. Our most horrific monster yet. At least I hope so. That's kind of the plan, right? All right. This is going to be a mess. 98%. That one's at 92%. Turn the speed down. Let's watch this boy be born. Oh, God. Why do I feel like this is a mistake? You watch it just crash the game. Here we go. 100%. And... Oh, that's a little disappointing, eh? Cut... <laughs> Good thrombo. That's so good. Great pun. Um, wow. Okay, so he's actually capable of doing everything. So obviously we need to train him in obedience immediately. Let's check out his stats. He has... Um, melee DPS 18.52. That doesn't strike me as particularly high. Let's check the, uh, the bear for comparison. Um, oh no, wait, that's massive. 5.26 with a mecha bear. Uh, what else have we got to check for comparison? Uh, the Diplo Beetle. Classic. Um, five, wait, no, that's, that's huge. That's actually disgustingly huge, isn't it? 18.52. Um, yeah, really powerful in combat. Like, seriously. La, la, Cathrombo for Targon. Pang Flui Mgnafla Cthrombo Rimworld blah blah blah. A gigantic squid like creature that feeds on fear and nightmares. Legends say it's an eldritch Cthrombo is really the wisest creature in the universe. Um Huh. Well that worked out pretty well then. Okay, so that thing is like disgustingly good at melee combat. This thing might be the bulk of our army. I mean it's actually disgusting. Alright. 96% on the Mechanoid Thrombo. Now, don't forget, the Mechanoids have a ranged attack. So, we might even want half of our army as these boys, the sort of Berserkers. And then, the backup, the Archers of the army, uh, Mechanoid Thrombos. Let's take a look. Um, I don't have a feeling I'm going to regret this one. Normally, these ones are the ridiculous ones. So, brace yourself. Oh. It's an Aberrant Flesh Beast. Well, that's disappointing. That basically means it's failed. Okay. Um, well, that's horrible. I'm so annoyed by that. You can't even tame it or anything. Uh, okay, so basically, we've just wasted our Thrombo genes then. Fuck. Okay, well, now it is a big deal that we accidentally put... Oh, there is another thrombo kicking around. Done it. Do what you do best and slay, girl. Okay, um... That thing needs to be dealt with immediately. That, that thing needs to be hunted. Um, hunted to extinction. We'll deal with that. We'll get Donuts to deal with it in a second. I, I do want to deal with the, the other Thrombo first. Just because that thing has a risk of leaving the map. Whereas the, the Aberrant Flesh Beast isn't really going anywhere. Um, besides, straight to hell. Alright, deal with him. Run. All right, that was very easily dealt with. Look at this. This is why we leave Donuts in charge of everything. Oh, the ultimate base defense. Donuts, everyone. Um, you need to come and extinguish this fire. Uh, it has to be within our home area, doesn't it? It's a little bit annoying you can't manually designate fires to be put out, but hey. Um, Donuts, go ahead and extinguish that. There we go. And carry him back to base. Right. Here's the thing. Um, we never want to butcher thrombos for meat, I would say, personally. So let's make sure. Um, let's go to our freezer, this one. Go animal corpses and non-take thrombo. Why the fuck we ever want thrombo meat when we can turn them into, you know, biogenetic weapons? So I'm going to say no to that. That's a no from me. Where are you? Thrombo corpse. Not today, team. Right. Uh, Donuts, you know where to put that now, don't you? I should make sure he's going to the right stop pile. He absolutely is. Best boy Donuts, everyone. Round of applause. Okay, we're going to have to try again with the whole thrombo mechano thing. A little bit annoying. I'm really glad we got this, though. Because this is by far the most powerful creature we've ever crossbred. Besides maybe the mecha spider because of its whole ranged attack. Um... Our army might be Cthrombos and Mechanoid Spiders. That seems like a really good mix of Thrombos, Mechanoid Spiders, and, uh... Wait, what have I missed? Oh, and Cthulhu Beasts. Obviously, Eldritch Demons. Alright, um, so that's our, our Thrombo Gene. We only got one from that, really? Donuts, you big failure. Alright, oh, that thing's making such a mess. Donuts, come, come kill this boy, though. Um, what can we do with an Aberrant Flesh Beast? I assume it's just when it fucks up. It doesn't, it doesn't do anything else. Um... Uh, it, it is pain and suffering. Take him out. Get out of here, Lincoln Park. All right. Um, yeah, you might you might actually want to finish it off as well, though, Donuts. You, you cruel bastard. Um, cannot mount Animal Busy. Uh, animal Busy. Animal Busy flailing on the floor in pain. I mean, that's fair enough. Okay. Take two. Uh, this time, let's not screw it up. All right. 
The thing is, it's probably because Nick did it last time. I imagine he fucked it up. Classic Nick. All right, there we go. How long is that going to take me? Another 20 minutes of sitting around? Probably, but that's fine because it's giving me plenty of time. That's right. In the meantime, I've been churning out more robots. Oh, y you know. You know. Okay, right. So let let's actually get these things installed then. Um, Basically, I'm just doing this for display purposes for now. Because, again, I don't want too many enabled because it will ramp up the difficulty quite significantly for the colony. Um, are we churning out more? That's the real question. No? Why not? Well, that's, that's another great question. We definitely should be. All right. Let's get these installed. Like I said, I just want a classic Fallout New Vegas style vault full of robots. Um, or Fallout 4, I guess, but let's not talk about that one. Alright, um, what else have we got then? Uh, you need to be installed, and you're being installed, and that, my friends, is that. We've got Mechorama actually being put in the stop pile now, which means everybody but Nick, for some reason, is wearing Mechorama. Nick and Dave and... Wait, are they wearing overcoats over the top of their Mechorama, maybe? Um... No, but they are in flat vests, so they're probably not going to swap out. As long as we've got plenty in storage for, obviously, the robot army. How many robots have we got right now? Good God, 20? Shit. Um, we may... Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to move the door there for a start. Um, that will hopefully become self-evident in a second. Um, mainly because it will let us fit in a whole of the row of robots if I've worked this out right. So we put one there. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Um, no, it won't. But it will look nicer, more importantly. All right, let's do that. There we go. I'm, I'm leaving a gap in front of them so that we can actually operate on them and, and activate them when it's necessary. I'd like to cram more into an area. Maybe we could expand the whole robot storage area, take up a little bit more of the storage bay itself. A lot of wasted space in here. But for now, um, until we're getting this as a well-oiled machine, so robots doing the mining, robots filling the machines, and robots churn churning out robots, the hiccups, the, the hiccups. It's, it's revenge for this, isn't it? It's karma. Um, until we got robots turning out robots consistently, uh, as in me not having to manually activate every five minutes, only getting six robots as a result, then, uh, you know, this, this isn't too bad, you know, having this tiny little storage area. I do like the big AI manager, that's so cool. Even if it's doing fuck all, it's still pretty cool, right, just to have it kicking around in the colony. It's a nice little, nice little bit of story there. Now, another task that should have been done long ago... 316 nutrient solution left for the spider. I've just got Donuts prioritizing it now, above all else, so that we can start work on the on the mecha spider, because as we found out before, these things take friggin' ages to grow. Now we want every available colonist who's half decent at maintaining that's working on that. So Granite Grimble only has seven intellectual. It's better than nothing. Mainly because uh wow, hang on. Is somebody a night owl? Oh my god, these schedules. Uh well the robots. Why the fuck do I give about whether or not the robots are sleeping? I don't think the robots need to sleep. Maybe they need like a few hours to recharge. That doesn't matter too much. We'll just do it like that. All right, there we go. Um, robot, 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 robot. Okay, problem solved. Right, so Chode Smirtly is a night owl. What I'm thinking is we should probably also get Chode Smirtly working on the back, even though he's probably... Oh, he is really god-awful, though. 4.5 out of 20. I mean, I... <sighs> there might be a failure chance associated with it, but honestly, I have no idea. Rapidly lose maintenance. Um... I feel like just somebody with a lower maintenance has to do it more frequently. So if we've got a, a night out doing it as well, just to keep it going through the night, and then somebody can wake up in the morning and obviously finish it off. Right, there we go. Oh, the, the hauling bot is filling it. Is, it. is it good? We need 10 more nutrient solution. My! Oh shit, I've missed you. I have missed you, Mecha Spider. Welcome home. Wait, was that instant? Oh no. Oh no, it's instant. Mecha Spider, aged. Uh, two, uh, 20, 20 billion is that? Hang on, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, it's two billion, uh, 47 million, 687,697 years of age, and minus many, many, many days. I feel like we've had a bit of a stack underflow there, team. Um, I don't think the mod really intended to ever have a mecha spider. It's probably because the mecha spider takes so long to clone that it's, 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 um, it's underflowed basically to a negative number. Um, and, and caused it spawn instantly, hence all this thing. Um, that's not the highest unsigned 32-bit integer, though, so I'm not sure what the deal with that is. It's close. But anyway, it was close. The highest is, what, 2.3 billion? 2.1 billion? Might be it. I don't know. I, I don't remember that shit. Anyway, um, well, that's an interesting glitch that we found. That's also really, really useful, because it means we could churn out our army as long as we've got the materials. Now, don't get me wrong, that cost a lot of materials. That was 2,000 nutrient solution. That's a lot. So it's expensive, but... Being able to churn them out instantly, I don't know if that's in the spirit of things. Then again, I mean, look at this. Is any of this in the spirit of things? It's a goddamn rim world. We've, we've broken everything. Right, speaking of breaking everything, 79%. By the power of editing. Let's wait and see what we get. Come on, Mechanoid Thrombo. Another fucking aberrant flesh beast? Are you kidding me? Okay, so I assume the more complex creatures... Mechanoid Thrombo seems kind of complex to me. The more complex, maybe the higher chance of aberrant flesh beasts spawning... 
because I don't understand why they'd add something to the game if it was just a consistent failure. It doesn't seem it doesn't seem like they would do that. Um, skill required ten, success rate one hundred percent. Clearly not, seeing as it's failed twice in a row, pal. Um, maybe something to do with the temperature needs to be. Well, it's twenty one degrees. I mean that's that's well within the 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 realms of safe temperature, right? Um, zero and fifty degrees. Yeah, no, that's that's more than safe. Uh, if you want, I'll crank it up to 25, so we are perfectly average in terms of what we need for this room's temperature. Um, yeah, another aberrant flesh beast. That's not ideal. Uh, Donnets? Oh my god, the amount of people that have turned up to clean it! Well, at least it's giving our people employment, eh? Thank you for making jobs. And now you're dead. Um, yeah, that's so annoying. Fuck, I really wanted to see what that did. But, hey, look, I can't complain too much. We've got our goddamn mecha spider back. Now, what is his damage? And let's compare that to... The Cthuloid monster. And then we'll sort of come up with our composition for the army, right? Whole body clone, does that affect it? Age minus nine hours. Um, okay, now that's 100% the largest 32-bit unsigned instrument. I, I, my, my brain, it knows these things. Um, probably because I did three years of freaking computer science. All right, let's take a look then. Um, you, my friend, do... Oh my god, his DPS is goddamn awful, but his fire rate is absurd. 240 RPM. Um... Stopping back range 31. Okay, so he's got pretty decent range too. I think, what do you think? Half the army mecha spiders, half the army of uh, thrombos. Many episodes I've promised you all a death bot hit squad. I'm not going to use the term army anymore because army is reserved exclusively for the mecha, mecha spider thrombo army. This is going to be the hit squad. This is our top crack team of heavily armored, heavily um, armed, armed and armored assassins, uh, which happen to be robots too, which is kind of cool. All right, don it, my friend. It is time. Mining at the deep mine. For no longer. I, it'd be nice if we could, you know, turn them all on. Wait, hang on. Uh, <laughs> mobile layout. Okay, underrate skill. Un oh, fuck me. Seriously? Need material? Need material? What do you mean, need ma What do you mean, need material? What do you mean, need material for? What? What do you mean, need material? Under. Under. Uh, they're all too stupid to activate the robots. Okay, so it's just down to Donuts then. Good. Welcome. Activate. We're going to have to do them one by one. Activate. Uh, money at deep mine. No, no, no. Need, need material. Did I accidentally make that one an enhanced AI? This is not nearly as smooth as I was hoping, I'll be honest with you. Um, activate mobile AI. Why can't we activate you, though? We're out of Plasteel. No, we've got Plasteel. What are we out of? What do we need to activate them? I thought it was just Plasteel and, and gold or something. Um, activate. Well, I'm sorry. Why are you telling me about <laughs> incubators? Get out of here. Um, Plasteel and gold. Are we out of gold? Oh, don't tell me that the de- No, we've definitely got gold. Um, I feel like the game's just being a bit strange. Other people are coming to turn them on. Oh, we'll just let them be turned on manually then. Whatever. That's fine. They'll, they'll get turned on over time. Uh, Granite Grimble. Granite Grimble's the best boy, obviously, so he's going to come and do that for us. Uh, what do you need for it? Is it crafting, maybe? Crafting skill? Uh, bills? Um, needs a few updates for it's ready. Yeah, it is crafting. Okay, then. Right, that explains a lot. Um, who are our best crafters? Donuts? Craft- No, 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 no. Okay, so we, so we know now that it- uh, why can't he do anything? Donitz can't. Igor definitely can. Igor also can't. I just I guess it's down to Grimble. It's down to Grimble and Sedini. Off you go, team. Um, we will pick this back up when they have all activated. We'll get them equipped. We're going to send them out after their first target. It's going to take a while to activate them. I never really considered how long it would take to turn the whole army on, eh? I feel like I've made a horrible mistake. Ah. Uh... <laughs> Uh, 20 mice. Okay, you know what, that's fine. This is going to take a very, very long time to outfit them on. We might even have to give some bows. Um, shit. I never sort of considered what this screen would look like up here. Holy shit, though, what a force we have. Right, let's get them all to squad up. Um, okay, team. I, I need, I need, a, I need a roll call here. Um, Tay, you're not relevant. Tay, you're, you're a pacifist, honestly. My god. What have I done? This is so good, though. Look at this. Holy shit. Where your marine now, it's, I'm going to get them all outfitted, we're going to get them some guns, then we are going to send them off to the closest colony and kill so many people. It's beautiful. Uh, it's actually... Okay, so, so okay, I will admit, we didn't quite have enough guns, so two of them have bows, but they are legendary bows, so they're going to be better than nothing, right? Let's get them to line up outside the base and get a final look at what we're dealing with here. Uh, you know what, let's, let's do it inside the base, because it's got a nicer lighting here and I need that thumbnail. Holy shit. What have I done? Um... Move up into, uh, let's, let's move up into a little formation here. That's what we've been waiting on. That's, for the past so many episodes, this is exactly what I've been waiting on. I mean, I didn't really have the bows in mind, I'll admit, but that looks pretty damn good. Alright, team. 
Um, let's form ourselves a caravan, shall we? And some poor fucker is gonna get absolutely glowed. Uh, who's the closest? So, Ted Liner's Man's Confederation, as you might remember, kidnapped Donitz and Mason. Hey, they sent their regards, fools. Form caravan. Uh, my, 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 any, basically any, <laughs> mine, mine, any with guns are more than fine. There we go. Look at how much they're worth as well. Holy shit. We could just churn out AI and make a business out of it, eh? Um, my 15 with your bow. Look, basically any mys are good. Uh, not, not you, Chode Smiley. You stay behind. Um, oh my god, these ones are worth like, because these ones have the power on them, they're worth a small fortune. All right, so let me just double check. We've got all the mys, not Tay. Tay is not allowed. All the mys. There we go. Um, these people need names, but I wouldn't name them yet. We'll name the survivors, the ones that have the, you know, the, the, the trial by fire, the true combat testing. Those ones can get names. Everything else that dies, we're doing it Spartan strategy. Everything else that dies wasn't worth our time anyway. Choose route. Ted Loner Man's Confederation. We're going to wipe them off the face of this planet. Every faction will die, but we'll start with the blue faction of Ted Loner Man's Confederation. Because honestly, they almost wiped out the series. They almost ended the series two episodes in. Don't eat food. Food unlimited. Um, because they're robots and they eat grass. That's just science. All right. Do we need anything else? Absolutely not. Holy shit. This is so ridiculous. Uh, undraft and off they go. Oh my god. Godspeed, gentlemen. Good luck, noble death bots, and fine friends of the metal persuasion. Kind of ridiculous. It's kind, it's kind of ridiculous, I will admit. And there they go. Caravan is formed, and into the world. My god, the death bots got it so good. Yes. Thank you all for watching. Next episode, somebody's getting shot, and it's not going to be us. Let's all join hands for a show of support for the patrons for making this series possible. Big to Timmy, Zachary Harris, Arik, Lucas Holting, Sean Thornton, Haydock, Sidini, Paul, Necrofilin, Asuna Kirito, Facundo Vasquez, Croesus, I'm the Lizard King, Josh Dean Tesla, Michael Mullen, Tyler Birch, Jacob Alexander Fenton, Powers Presley, Logan Thorne, Conspired C, Orcs Wolf, Average Game 419, Escape, Zazzy 7011, and Jackson Women. Thank you all for your support on Patreon and for making this ridiculous series possible, which is now, I think, we're just about to peak. And a big shout out to Nathaniel Limburg, Brennan Mintoniak, Euphrates, Quasar Fox, Jack Allen, Gabriel Van Der's, Llewellyn Thomas, Nathan Flores, Jordan DeVries, Doorbell, Don Conti 217, Zach McDougall, Joseph Beard, Jordan Campbell, Harry McGowan, Will Wade, Chris, Sir Thor the Swede, Asaro, Nick, Fraser Brennan, Kevin Saunders, Betamus Max, Dean St. Pickman, Adam Person, Eagle Cossack, and Haji Duma. Thank you all for your support as well. Big shout out to the Twitch subs, streams coming in the new year. Hope you've all enjoyed the episode.